Mrs. Von Hoop. Yeah. Why didn't the duck cross the road? I don't know. Because its foot got stuck in the quack. From the Hello and welcome to the Spiral Dimension. I'm Dr. Von Hoop and this is Mrs. Von Hoop. How's it going? Good, thank you. Cool. Uh, today we've got a slab and we've got some of those raw books that are taking up the whole hallway. The whole hallway. So, <laughs> just to help out Mrs. Von Hoop, we're going to open some of the raw books. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming a thing. <laughs> yeah. So, first up. Literally not the foggiest, couldn't tell you. Could have been there for months. Yeah, could have been there for eight months at this point. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Wait, now, okay. interesting story about this, and yes, obviously this is going to be turned into a, a, a movie, it's the first Supergirl movie that's going to be under the wing of uh, James Gunn, okay. DC. That is not why I bought it. See, Mark from Legion of Comics has been banging on about this book for a while before this announcement. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to read it. So I read it all on the app. And it is so good that it very nearly made me cry. It's so good. And I jumped on the internet straight away after reading it and I bought this for, I want to say five pounds. And then literally two weeks later, James Gunn made that announcement and it was worth way more than that. <laughs> um, yeah, so really happy to have this in the collection. Not because it's a spec book, but because I love this book. I really, really love Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. And uh, I, I love this cover as well. I thought it was great. And uh, you, I did mention to, to you at the time that you really should read it. It's wicked. Okay, so what have we got in this one? This is a meaty one. Okay, so the first up is a Gunslinger Spawn. Very cool, love Gunslinger. He's one of my favorite characters from Spawn. Um, issue nine, wicked cover again. I love that because it looks like it could be an anime. Like it, yeah. it's really, really anime. Like it could literally be a screenshot from an anime. A really, really nice anime. <laughs> like, it's wicked. Um, there might be two of these, I'm not really sure. Nope, we've got, we've got a gunslinger spawn there again. I, I think what I was doing with this was trying to fill the holes the in the run. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got. I like that one. Yeah, it's really good. I don't like the other one, but I really like that one. Issue 12, Gunslinger Spawn. I expect one. Yeah, it's a wicked perspective. And again, it could be an uh, anime. Very, very cool. Yes. Maybe one of these in drawing, which is always a good thing. Yes, yeah, Spawn's, I mean, if, it, if it's anything, it's always wonderful art. And the next one up. Oh, issue one, the McFarlane variant. Oh, cool. Yeah, because I do have a, another issue one, yeah. one of the other variants, but I thought I, you know, you should, I like that one. You should definitely always try and get a McFarlane yeah. on the first. Can you see it all? Yeah, when you see it all, you buy it. <laughs> no, but like, when, especially when it's like the first issue of one of his characters, it, you know, you should really have it on the cover. So, we have a slap. I do not know Very well which packaged. one this is. I, I, I've got a feeling this is a big boy book. It could not be because there is one other one that should be here which doesn't appear to be. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh. oh yes. Oh, yes. Tomb of Dracula, number one, from 1972, in a 7.0, off-white pages. Boom. Oh, yes. It's amazing. Let me, let me check the slab. Slab, 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 
Looks like that. Looks pretty good. Looks alright, right? Yeah. Looks like it's good. And yeah, no, it's it's a, it's a really lovely cover. Copy, I changed it. The uh, the staples do look they're in an odd like, position. like they're in an odd position, like, like it's not like it's been written, just like it was like, printing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like it, the grain would be oh, yeah awful if if they thought it had been tampered with. Um, yeah, wow. So um, I've sort of come to the conclusion I'm going to stop buying raw Tomb of Dracula. And I want to buy the whole series. Great. Right. Because <laughs> I love it. And I, I, I knew... Basically, it was one of my goals this year to get this book, Tomb of Dracula 1. It was really important to me to, me to do it. Now, I, I do want a higher grade than this eventually. But for right now, this is perfect. Like, it's, it's wicked. And I, I paid, like, a, you know, the fair market value on it. And it's totally worth it. Wonderful artwork. Neil Adams cover. And it's an iconic cover it as is. well. Yeah. Love it. And I've, uh, I'm, I'm roughly issue 15 ish in reading it. So I'm still cracking along with it. First appearance of Dracula, Frank Drake, and Clifton Graves. All characters that reoccur. Jean colon art inside, and I love Jean's art. Jean's art. Uh, I wonder who the um, the colorist is because, or whether whether Jean also did the uh, color, because the color in Tomb of Dracula is like probably the best thing about it. It's like one of the best things. Yeah. The art. the the way the color is painted, it's really atmospheric, very gothic, very stylized, similar to Italian giallo uh, films like like Suspiria and you know, Deep Red, that kind of thing. Very, very cool. I am super happy to have this. This was a grail for me and it's a grail for everybody else as well. Like This is a genuine the, book. This was the grail, wasn't it's it? Like, very if, it was cool. an, if there was a list, that was at the top. Yeah, I mean, I, I, want, I wanted this more than I wanted uh, the first appearance of Blade, which is yeah. also part of this run, yeah, yeah. which is the big, big boy big book, book. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. will take me a while to get. It will be mine eventually. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, awesome. Right. Thanks very much. MVH. Uh, please <laughs> comment down below. Tell us what you think. Tell me how awesome Tomb of Dracula is. Because <laughs> it is super, super awesome. And I'm so pleased the slab isn't cracked. Um, <laughs> and, I mean, in fairness, it would have been impo almost impossible to crack it in the level of yeah, packaging. Yeah, it was, it was pretty well packaged, like, though. Very well packaged. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below. And uh, we'll catch you next time in the Spiral Dimension. Peace! From the Spiral Dimension. I got a tumor, Dracula.